The horrors of war right in Ukraine's capital. A barrage so intense that even in the early days of the invasion, Kyiv wasn't attacked like this. For hours, the missiles just kept coming. As rescuers rushed to treat the wounded, residents headed underground. Really, I, I think because they are bastards. That's it. They want to destroy our people, our infrastructure, everything. I really don't know, and I'm extremely angry, you know. Russia called this an attack against critical infrastructure. But why then? A blast near a playground. If the war against civilians. Putin needs Ukraine without Ukrainians. Ukraine says the strikes were designed to maximize loss of life, taking place as people were on their way to work and school. This young woman was near a university, filming a message after one explosion when there was another strike. Other cities across the country were also hit, including Lviv in the far west and Dnipro in the south. These two explosions killed at least four people who were on a bus nearby at the time. One of the missiles struck this street in Ypro, and you can see at this giant crater just where it landed. Now, it's starting to be filled in now, but it's believed that the intended target was actually this building, which at one time was a telecommunications hub. This afternoon, crews quickly got to work cleaning up the debris and filling the hole, but it's much harder to sweep away the trauma. It's a good thing my child was sleeping and didn't hear any of this, says this woman, because the first time this happened and they were bombing for two days, she was really scared. This man's bar was destroyed in the blast, but not his resolve. We had fear on the 24th of February. Back then, everyone was afraid and worried. Now there's no fear, just hatred for these people, nothing more. Because the attacks damaged the power grid, officials are asking people to conserve electricity. But otherwise, daily life has resumed. Even if many might feel more uneasy, the next time a siren sounds. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Dnipro.